Hi, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well. My name is Dr. Perez. It's nice to meet you. You too. First name is James, correct? Yes, it is. Is it okay if I call you James? That's fine. Okay. So it looks like we're doing a comprehensive physical today. Is that correct? Yes, we are. Full okay. physical. Full physical. Um, can I just have you confirm your last name for me? Sure. Monroe, M-O-N-R-O-E. And your date of birth? 2-25-1985. Perfect. And is there any specific reason for your visit today? No, it's been a few years since I've had a physical, so okay. I just want to get a once over. Okay, so you're a little overdue. Just yes. making sure everything's going okay. Yep. Okay, well, we have quite a bit to go over. The comprehensive physical is a little bit lengthy, so okay. I'll start with some preliminary things. I'm going to take your vital signs. Okay. I do want to do a COVID swab if that's okay with you, just to make sure we are negative today. Sure. Um, because it's been so long since you've had one, I do also want to get a set of labs on you. Make okay. sure like your A1C and your cholesterol and all that is doing okay. All right. So we'll get that sent off to the lab. After that, I do want to go ahead and have you give me a urine sample so okay. we can test um, for anything else. Make sure everything's doing okay. We might as well while you're here. Sure. I'll have you change into the hospital gown and then we'll kind of get started from there, okay? All right. Perfect. So let me set this down. Just gonna get a pair of gloves on. Okay. How are you feeling just kind of in general right now? Good. Feel okay? No? Mm -hmm. No, Specific no ailments. Specific pain or anything? No. Perfect. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started with your vital signs then. I am going to start by placing this on your wrist if I could have you turn your arm for me. that over your stomach and hold it just like that. This device is going to test your oxygen levels as well as your pulse. I'll just place that on your finger. Just relax your hand for me. And lastly, I'll be checking your temperature. If I can have you lift up your tongue. There we go. And that'll take just a second. We can go ahead and take this off. Blood pressure today is a little elevated. I have 151 over 87. Your heart rate is 81, which is fine. This should be done. Yeah, 98.4, which is totally normal. And your oxygen levels are at 100%, which is great. Okay. Do you have a history of high blood pressure? No, I don't. No. Okay. Interesting. So definitely something that I just want to know. 151 over 87. So that systolic number is a little higher than I would like. Typically, I'd want you to be under 135 for your age. Okay. When I do your labs, I will do a heart panel just so we can make sure that everything with that is okay. Sure. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on. I am going to do a COVID swab. Okay. No COVID symptoms today, correct? No. Okay. So I'm sure you know this is a little uncomfortable. I won't insert it fully, but we are gonna have to do both nares today, okay? All right. You're all done. Not too bad, I hope. No, it's okay. Okay. So we'll dispose of that and Let 
that said, it takes just a few minutes, and while we're waiting, I'll go ahead and listen to your heart. So I just want you to breathe normally for me, okay? Perfect, and I am gonna go around the back and listen to your lungs. Okay. okay, so every time I touch you from this point on, I want you to take a deep breath in and out. Now you'll feel me place two hands on your back. Each time I touch you with both hands, I want you to say 99 out loud. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, perfect. Heart and lungs both sound <clears throat> completely normal. I didn't hear any sort of Arrhythmia, no palpitations happening, everything okay. sounded totally normal. Lungs are both clear, okay. no signs of pneumonia. So that is all good to go. Perfect, okay. All right, James, so what I'd like you to do, excuse me while I reach over your cat, sure. is I need a urine sample from you. Okay don't have to fill the cup up all the way if you could get at least to the 30 or 40 cc mark that would be great I'll have you just place it back in the biohazard bag there's a little window in the restroom you can just open it and leave it in the window and the lab tech will take that for you okay, okay. if you could also change into the gown for me okay. we're gonna start with it open in the back okay okay all right thank you so much I'll see you in just a minute thank you all right James is it okay if I come in yes it is perfect thank you and your sample is with the lab. I spoke with the tech, she's getting it processed. So okay. that should take just a couple minutes. I will have those results for you before you leave. So is it okay if I get your labs done at this time? Sure. Perfect, so I'm just gonna have a seat. And pardon me while I get a little closer to you. That's fine. Is this arm okay to do the sample? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'll have you kind of invert your arm. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. All right, and generally, do you have trouble getting your blood taken or does no. it usually go okay? It goes okay. No, no. nausea, vomiting, dizziness, anything like that? No. And looks like you have decent veins, so I shouldn't have trouble getting a sample today. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead did have quite a bit to get from you today. Um, I just want to do a full panel okay. to make sure everything's going okay. And then I did add on the cardiac labs just because your blood pressure was high. Okay. 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 So I'm going to go ahead and place my tourniquet. If I could have you just gently lift your arm. It's going to be a little tight. I do apologize. Is that painful? No. just chlora prep it's basically alcohol it's gonna clean the area it does feel a little cold though okay 
Okay. Just a second to try. Okay, if you're ready, I'll go ahead and insert my needle. I'm ready. One, two, three. Okay. Starting off with our cardiac panel. Okay, moving on to our type and screen. And these last three are just testing for various ailments, STDs, STIs, testing your A1C, cholesterol, etc. Okay, so we are good to go. I'm going to remove the tourniquet. Getting ready to pull the needle out. And I just have a piece of tape here. And we'll keep this on for the duration of your visit. Okay. Let me just dispose of this in our sharps container. I am going to quickly hand these to the nurse so she can take them to the lab and okay. then we should have these results back soon, okay? All right. So I will be right back. Okay. All right, James, I'm back. Let's go ahead and get started on our preliminary questions. So I do have quite a few to go over with you. Okay. Um, as I was dropping that off, I spoke with the lab. Your COVID swab was negative, so good okay. news. Your urine did come back, not positive or anything significant, so you're okay. good to go there, okay? Perfect, okay. So let's go ahead and get started with some preliminary questions. What is your current pain level? Current pain level? Mm -hmm. One. One? Are you having any abnormal symptoms anywhere? No. No. Okay. So these questions are going to go from head to toe, essentially. Okay. Um, do you ever experience any headaches or migraines? Headaches every now and then. Occasional headaches? Yes. And are these brought on by anything specific? I believe they're just seasonal allergies. Okay, so it's kind of sinus, sinus pressure. Sinus pressure, yeah. Is this mostly kind of fall, spring? Spring, for spring. sure. Spring? Yes. Okay, so you've been having some trouble with that recently, I would guess. Yes, I have. Okay. No migraines? No. Okay, do you take anything for it? Claritin every now and then. Only when it's severe. Okay. And when is the last time you would say you had a dose of Claritin? Um, not since last allergy season. So, okay. So, so it's none, been quite a while. Yeah, none this year at all. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and move down to your eyes. Do you have any specific eye problems? I see that you are wearing glasses. Yep. Just regular needing glasses and that's all. Okay. No. Do you wear contacts? No, I don't. Okay. When was your last eye exam? Um, it's been about two years. Okay, so you are due for an eye exam. Definitely do. Do you have a regular optometrist? I did, but my insurance changed, so now I need to select a new one. Okay, do you need a referral to an optometrist? Sure. Okay, I can great. provide you with that, sure. Okay. 
We can do that on your way out, absolutely. Ideally, we'd like to have you see an optometrist once a year, I'm yes. sure you, yeah. <laughs> do you feel like your current prescription is adequate for you? Um, it's probably time for a stronger dose, honestly. You think so? Yeah. Okay, having a little trouble? Sometimes at night. Okay. I do notice that maybe the scratch resistance has worn off a little bit on your glasses. You've yep. got some scratches. Okay. Definitely time for an so upgrade. So we will be doing kind of a mini eye exam today just okay. to make sure everything is going well overall. Okay. But obviously for a more comprehensive exam, you will need to see the optometrist. Okay. Sure. All right. I'm just going to take a little note here. And on eye exam. Make sure we get you in for that. Moving down to your nose, you already said that you have seasonal allergies. Yes. Okay. Um, with that, do you have like runny nose, dry nose, sneezing, uh, coughing? I would say runny nose and some sneezing. Runny nose and sneezing. And you did say that you take Claritin if it's too severe. Any issues with dryness? No. No? Do you snore? Yes. Okay. And is that all the time or just when you're experiencing allergies? I think all the time. All the time. Is that something that bothers you or are you just, it's just kind of your normal? It doesn't bother me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving down to your mouth. Are you currently having any issues with teeth pain or sensitivity? No, I'm not. Perfect. How frequently do you visit the dentist, would you say? Every 15 months. Okay, so roughly once a year? Yes. Do you have a dentist that you see regularly? Yes, I do. Okay. So ideally, I would like to see you going to the dentist at least every six months, okay. once a year at minimum. Okay. Okay. Um, I know that seems kind of frequent, but cavities can tend to pop up right. more frequently than you would think. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I will be doing a brief oral exam. How frequently do you brush your teeth? Twice a day. Perfect. And flossing? Every day, every other day. Okay. <laughs> so we need to be a little more strict with the flossing. It's very important that you floss at least once a day, preferably at night. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Moving on to your ears. Do you have any problems with hearing loss, ear pain, abnormal discharge, excessive earwax? No. None of the above. Do you wear earbuds either in ear or over the ear? Over the ear for the most part, every over now the and then. Ear. Okay. Are you ever exposed to loud sounds or music? Yes, I am. Is that like recreational? Or? Recreational. Okay. And it's not too often. Okay. But haven't noticed any kind of progressive hearing loss over no, the years. Do you I feel like not. your hearing is fine? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Moving down to your chest and heart area. I did have a listen. I didn't notice any abnormalities. Do you ever feel any chest pain, tightness, aches, palpitations, no. any kind of arrhythmia where you feel like your heart is beating abnormally? No. Perfect. Healthy heart. Okay. And moving on to your upper extremities, your limbs. Do you notice any joint pain, shoulders, elbows, wrists, pain, fingers? Mm, depends. Certain, certain activities we haven't done them in a while. I might have a little soreness. Okay. Um, just in the joints, maybe. My elbows. Okay. Shoulders. And that's just kind of with an increase in yeah, mobility. Yeah, physical. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you notice any lack of flexibility? No. You did say you have some kind of mild joint pain. Yeah. Do you ever take anything for it? Maybe just an Aleve or an Advil. Okay. Aleve will definitely be your best bet for joint pain because okay. it's going to help bring down the inflammation while si simultaneously helping with the pain. So Aleve is definitely okay. a go-to for joint pain. All right. And as far as your abdomen, stomach, do you have any issues with your stomach, with eating? No. Any discomfort? Nope. Um, kind of acid reflux, nausea, anything like that. No, it's been a while okay. since I've had acid reflux. So okay. No. 
normal bowel movements. Yes. How frequently are you having bowel movements on once, a daily basis? Once or twice a day. Once or twice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And those are normal formed. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right, just a couple more questions. Moving on to your legs, lower extremities. Do you have any trouble walking? No. Feet pain, joint pain, knees, ankles? I have, I have flat feet, so. Flat feet? So every now and then I might have a little bit of pain in the middle where my nine arches. Okay. Just depending on which shoes I wear or how much how walking I'm doing. they are. Okay. Yeah. Um, on a regular day-to-day -day basis, what kind of shoes would you say you typically wear? Like a sneaker, a loafer, a dress shoe? A sneaker. A sneaker. Either okay. basketball or running sneaker. Okay. So fairly supportive. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And I didn't notice any gait disturbances as you were walking in and out. Um, do you notice any kind of lack of balance or coordination issues no. with dizziness or tripping? Are you clumsy typically? No, I'm not. Pretty well balanced overall. Okay, so moving on to a couple questions about your sexual health. Are you currently sexually active? Yes, I am. How many partners do you have at the moment? One partner. And is that casual or long-term? Long-term. Okay. Do you practice safe sex, whether it's birth control, condoms? Yes. Okay. Do you have a history of STD or STIs? No, I don't. And we did test your urine. You are negative for all STD history at this time. Okay. Okay, and just a couple more questions. Are you currently engaging in both oral and penile penetration? Yes. Okay, and have you ever had a prostate exam? No, I have not. You haven't, okay. So I know this is probably the last thing you want to hear, but you are due for time. a prostate exam. It is time. Yes. Your first exam was due at 40, so I do recommend getting that done. You would have to do like an outpatient appointment. I can give you a referral for that. Thank you so it's much. It's not emergent, but right. it is highly recommended that you get one done. After okay. you get your initial, you shouldn't have to get it done for another five years. Okay. Okay. So when you go to the receptionist for your optometrist appointment, I will let her know and she can schedule that for you, okay? All right. Okay. It's good to be proactive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, James. Well, the good news is we are done with the preliminary questions, unless you have anything that you'd like to ask me before we get started with the exam. I don't think so. Okay. So we have quite a few things that we're going to go over. We are starting again from head to toe. So we'll start with some head palpations. We'll kind of move down. Okay. Um, there'll be some moving around. I'll have you turn around at some point so I can view your back. And then for the end portion of the exam, you will be laying down. Okay. All right. Perfect. So let me just set this aside. I'm going to remove my stethoscope and we will get started. Sounds good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the physical portion of the exam. I'm okay. gonna come behind you. I wanna have a look at your scalp, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with a kind of visual inspection. Okay, so just starting with a brief physical inspection. I'm going to be feeling around a little bit. I want you to yeah. tell me if any of this is painful or how uncomfortable. Not feeling any lumps or bumps. Not noticing any visible dandruff or flaking. Scalp doesn't appear overly oily or dry. How frequently do you wash your hair? Every few days, every other day. Okay, good. So you're not washing it every day, which is ideal. I'm not noticing any male pattern baldness. Hair is full and even throughout. Texture is equal and normal. 
showing a look at the back of your neck. You have a couple little moles, but they don't appear abnormal. This one is raised, but it is round and symmetrical. While I'm back here, can I have you tilt your head as far back as you can? Any pain or discomfort there? No. Okay. I'm just going to feel around the sides of your neck. Underneath. And as you open and close your jaw, perfect. Shrug your shoulders. One more time. Perfect. Okay. So no issues with that. I'm going to come around the front and do a brief examination of your face. Okay. Thank you for removing your glasses. Sure. Just having a look at your skin. Not noticing any discoloration or dryness. Texture appears even. No visible acne of acne. Perfect. Having a look at the neck. Perfect. Just taking a little note. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to an eye exam, if that's okay. So just kind of a brief eye exam. Okay. Definitely should put your glasses back on. The first thing I'm gonna have you do is follow my pen light. So I want you to keep your head kind of midline and you're only gonna move your eyes, okay? All right. Perfect. Any symptoms of dizziness, blurry vision, everything no. was normal for you today? Yes. Great. Okay. So I want you to place this over your eyes just as it is. Can you see out of this side yes, with the I perforations? Can. Yes. can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? Two, three, five, one. Flip it the other way. Two, five, three, two. Perfect. Okay. That was testing for glaucoma. All right, so next I'm gonna test you for color deficiency. Okay. This first one is a control. Can you tell me what number you see here? Sure, 12. And what color is the number? It is orange. Perfect, okay. And do you see a number here? Yes, number eight. Here? Number five. 29 and 74. Okay, for the next one, I want you to tell me what color the outside is. It is red, yellow, orange. And the number? The number is green. And here? Uh, 45, and it's a brown, light brown, dark brown. Perfect. Do you see a number here? Yes, I do. Number two. Do you see a number here? No, I don't. Here? 16. Here? No. Do you see anything here? Yeah, that's uh, like a snake. Perfect. Can I have you take the non-writing side of that pen mm -hmm. and trace that line for me? Sure. Very good. Can you trace the number you see here? Sure, 35. Very good, okay, good job. Not noticing any issues with color deficiency okay. and just a brief eye exam. Can you read that for me? Sure. Shara's test for color deficiency, concise edition, 2017. And the last two words? Tokyo, Japan. Very good. Okay. So your glasses for now are at least giving you adequate vision. Yeah. They may need to be updated slightly, but you are right. able to see. Yep. And you wear those when you're driving, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. All right, James, so lastly for your eye exam, I want you to hold this device over one of your eyes. Okay. You choose. Okay. Okay, can you see me with your unoccluded eye? Yes. Perfect, so I'm gonna be holding my hands up. Can you see both of my hands? Yes. 
I'll be wiggling one side, both sides, okay. switching back and forth. I want you to tell me which side you see wiggling. Okay. Keep your line of sight at my nose, okay? All right. All right. Uh, my left side is wiggling. Both sides are wiggling. Right side. Left side. Perfect. You can switch eyes. Can you see both of my hands? Yes. All right. Left side. Both sides. Left side. Right side. Good job. Left side. And both sides. Perfect. Okay. No discrepancies there. You did very well with that. Thank you. Any blurry vision, double vision with any of those tests? Yeah. Go ahead and move on to your nose. I'm gonna start by having a look if I could have you tilt your head back for me. And for any obvious occlusion. Now just gently tilt your nose up. Perfect. Okay. So I'll have you take a breath in for me. And here. Any issues with nasal patency? Are you occluded on one side or the other? Seasonal allergies are doing okay today? They're doing okay, no occlusions. Okay. I am going to test your sense of smell. I have three different things here. And just to confirm, I didn't see that you had any actual allergies. No. Okay. So I want you to close your eyes and kind of take a whiff. Don't breathe in too aggressively because these are Pretty potent. Can you tell me what that is? Mm, citrus. Very good. That is sweet orange. Okay. Let's do this one. Go ahead. Peppermint. Very good. And last one. This one's a little more mild. Almost like a spice, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so I'll give you a clue. It's a very common essential oil and it's floral. I'm not sure. Okay, that's lavender. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's okay. That one's a little more difficult. Like I said, it's a little more mild, so some people do have trouble, but you did well with that. Thank you. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to your mouth. I'm just gonna start by having you open your mouth for me. Stick your tongue out and say, ah, uh, very good. Show me your teeth, big smile. Good, you have beautiful teeth. Thanks. No signs of cavities, your teeth are very white. Do you whiten your teeth at all? I don't. Just naturally white? Twice a day, brushing. Perfect, okay. So I am going to test for jaw strength. Okay. So this is a bite block. I'm gonna have you open, bite down. Okay, other side, bite down. Middle, good. Any pain or tenderness with that? No. Very good, and the last thing I'm gonna do is have you open up. Just have a look at your molars. Seeing any cavities there, very good, okay. Teeth look great. So. Everything as far as your oral health looks good. I do okay. want to see you flossing daily. Yes. Okay. Okay. So why don't we move on to your ear exam and hearing test. If I could have you turn your head for me. Just having a look at your ear. As I kind of pull and move around, are you experiencing any pain or tenderness here? No. Nothing here. Nope. Turn the other way for me. No pain, discomfort. No pain. Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and move on to a hearing test. So if I could have you close your eyes. Okay. I have a tuning fork here. Can you tell me if you can hear this? I can. Tell me when it stops. It stops. Okay. So I'm going to place this in the middle of your head. Okay. Can you tell
help you if you hear that equally and bilateral on both sides? I think so, yes. What side do you hear it now? Left. Right. Very good. I'm going to hold this up to your left ear. Can you hear this? Yes, I can. Tell me when it gets louder. Louder. Tell me when it stops. Stops. Good. Can you hear this? Yes. Tell me when it gets louder. Louder. Tell me when it stops. Stops. Very good. Okay. All right, so I have a little device here that's gonna blow a slight puff of air okay. into your ears. Okay. I want you to tell me what side you hear it on, okay? All right. So this is testing your directional hearing. You could hear it in the back, the top, the front, either side. Ready? All right. Left side. Right side. Right side, back. Right side, back. Uh, front left side. Good job. Left side. Top middle. Back. Very good. Very specific answers. So lastly for your hearing, I want you to close your eyes again. I'm going to be making a sound on either side with my fingers and I want you to just say yes when you hear it, okay? Yes. And I want you to tell me if one or two sounds closer. So this is one, and this is two. One was closer. This is one, this is two. Two was closer. Perfect. Absolutely no issues with your hearing. Very good. Moving on to an exam of your neck. I already palpated around a little bit for your lymph nodes, but mm -hmm. I want to check a little in the front if I could have you tilt your head back. Sure. Can you swallow? Any pain or discomfort here? No. Your palpation of your collarbone. Not feeling any abnormalities here. Lymph nodes are not palpable, which is ideal. Alright, very good, James. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Okay. <clears throat> so we are about a third of the way through, I would say. Let's go ahead and test for head and neck movements. So if I could have you turn your head to the side, and then all the way to the other side, all the way down, tuck your chin, all the way back, and then if you can do a rotation. Any pain, discomfort there? I didn't hear any clicking. There was a slight click on the left. Okay, <laughs> uncomfortable or just? No, just, just stretching. Adjusting, mm -hmm. okay, very good. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to your facial sensation. You can keep your glasses on. I'm gonna be doing a variety of sensation tests here. And the first one is gonna be just kind of a light cotton wisp. So if I could have you extend your hand for me, this is what you're going to feel. All right. And I want you to just say yes when you feel it. So you'll have your eyes closed. Yes. 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 Did all of that feel equal and bilateral? Yes, it did. Perfect. Same thing. This time you're going to feel a wooden poke, okay? okay. Good. And lastly, I have a little bit of a sharper object. You're going to feel this. And this time I want you to tell me if it feels the same on both sides, okay? Mm -hmm. So this should feel the same as this. Yep, same. Here and here. Same. Here and here. Same. Here and here. Same. Okay. No loss of sensation or tingling with any of that, correct? No. All right, 
James, you are doing really well. Thank you. Let's go ahead and move on to test your upper extremities. So I'm going to be testing strength and reflexes in both of your arms. Okay. So first, I want you to hold your arms up like this. So kind of turn, there you go. Pull in, now push out, very good. Now like this, push down and up, and turn your hands like this. I'm gonna try to separate your fingers, don't let me separate them. All right. And now let's do the opposite. So you open your fingers and I'm gonna try to close them, don't let me close them. Okay. And now just your thumb. Very good, upper extremities are strong. Okay, so now I want you to hold your hand straight out. Close your eyes. Just keep them out. Testing for balance and coordination. Keep your hands out. Very good, you can open your eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and test your reflexes. So I want you to just relax your arms completely. Okay. No issues or abnormalities there. I am just gonna check your pulse. Just relax your arms for me, there you go. Okay, pulses are equal, strong. Very good, okay. All right, James, let's go ahead and move on to upper extremity sensation testing. So similar to what we did on your face, I'm gonna test your arms now, okay? All right. Okay, so let's start with just a light cotton wisp, so you should feel this. Okay. Close your eyes, say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Perfect. And that, did that feel equal on both sides? It did. Something similar, I want you to say yes when you feel it. Yes, 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 yes. And if I could have you pronate your hands for me, so you're gonna turn, there you go. This time I'm gonna drag this tool down your arm and I want you to tell me if it feels differently at all as we move down, okay? Feel the same all it the way. the same. So it's the same. Okay. Same here. Yes. Perfect. And lastly, same thing this time. It's going to feel like this, okay? Okay. Does that feel the same as this? Yes. And this and this? Yes. Here and here? Yes. Upper extremity strength and sensation appears normal. The last thing I'm gonna do is draw a number or a letter in either hand and I want you to tell me what it is. This is testing for your proprioception, okay? All right. Three. I'm sorry, one more time. I'm not sure. Five. Very good. This is a letter. A. I'm not sure. D. Yes. Okay. And just because you did get a couple of those incorrect, I want to test one more thing. So I'll have you close your eyes. Yeah. Can you tell me what this is? Yeah, it's a pen. Very good, keep your eyes closed. 
And can you tell me what this is? Yes, it is a tape measure. Very good. Okay, so no issues with that. You can go ahead and open your eyes. All right, James, so let's go ahead and have you turn around. Okay. I'm gonna be testing your back. I wanna check your spine, do some general palpations. I wanna check your kidneys. So I'm just gonna have you turn around, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. All right, James, are you comfortable the way you are? Oh, yes. I'm okay. So I'm just gonna start with a general inspection, have a look at your skin. I do see some discoloration in this area. Looks like it might be due to some excessive dryness. Do you tend to have dry skin? Yes, I do. Okay. Just having a look. Do you see a couple moles? Just a little bit asymmetrical in shape, but it's not raised to the touch. freckles. Okay. Just feeling around. Let me know if you have any pain or discomfort with this, okay? Okay. some dryness in this area. So I'm going to be palpating around your kidneys. You'll feel some tapping. Okay. I want you to tell me if it's painful at all, okay? Tenderness. Sure. Any discomfort with that? No. I'm going to do the same thing, this time with a smaller mm -hmm. hammer and lighter tapping down your spine. Any pain or discomfort with any of that? No. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna test your sensation. Just that light cotton wisp again, tell me yes if you feel it, okay? Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. And does this feel different than this? No, it doesn't. This doesn't feel any different than this? Oh, uh, yes, one was a swipe, one was a poke. Okay, and here, here? Yes. Yes, two pokes and a swipe. Good job. Can you feel this? Yes, I can. Can you feel this? Yes. Feel this? Yes. This? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 This feels yes. the same all the way down. It does. Okay. Here. Yes. Okay. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If we go horizontal. Mm -hmm. Same. 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 Any difference here, this drier area? No. Feel 
fairly cold. Does that feel cold to you? Yes, it does. In comparison to this? Yes. Okay. Cold here. Yes. Any loss of sensation as we go down? No. And it feels the same coldness all the way down? Yes, it does. Is colder? Yes. Okay. <laughs> colder here? Yes. And colder here. Colder there, yep. for sure. And here? Colder there. Okay. We should feel some vibration. Yes. Okay, and in comparison to that, this should just feel like pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want you to tell me if you feel vibration or pressure. Okay. Vibration. Pressure. Vibration. Pressure. Vibration. Pressure. Take down a quick note. All right, James, everything as far as your back and spine appear perfectly normal. Okay. The last thing I want to do before I have you lay down is if you could lean as far forward as you can. Okay, and then I want you to lean back slowly. Testing for any signs of scoliosis and your spine is perfectly straight. So I will move my instruments out of the way for you. Okay. I want you to lay back down. We're gonna flip the gown the other way so that it's open in the front and your chest is exposed. Head on this side, feet on the other, okay? Yep. So I'll give you a second as soon as I move these items. Okay. All right, James, are you comfortable? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. So. I'm going to start off by having a listen to your bowels. So I'm just going to be placing my stethoscope on your stomach. Bowel sounds are active, but normal. Did you have a bowel movement today? Mm, yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Just having a look at your chest, skin overall. Not noticing any particular abnormalities. Do you just want to kind of gently palpate around? You let me know if this causes you any discomfort. Any pain here? No. I'm going to go a little deeper. Just palpating your spleen, liver. Everything feels relatively normal. I'm going to do a brief sensation exam. Can you tell me if you can feel this? Yes, I can. Yes. 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 Does 
this feel differently than this? Mm, about the same. sensation here compared to here? No. Perfect. Okay. Just going to do a quick percussion there. That sounds normal. Moving on to your lower extremities. I'm just going to feel around your pelvis. Any pain or discomfort here? No. day-to-day -day aches and pains. <laughs> yes. Okay. Can you have you bend this leg for me? Just feeling around your joint. So I'll have you lift this leg up. Now bring it towards your chest. Good. Extend straight out. Raise up back down. Any pain or discomfort there? No. Same thing with this leg. If I can have you bend your knee flat on the bed. There you go. Okay, so let's lift up. Bring towards your chest. Straight out and we'll go up and back down. Any pain or discomfort with that? No. Perfect. Just be testing your reflexes here. Moving down. Is it okay if I raise your pants slightly? Sure. Just a look at your skin. You did say you have flat feet, which I can see. Do you have any pain or discomfort with your feet today? No, I don't. What size shoe do you wear? Uh, 16 triple E. Okay. And you feel like that supports your feet adequately? Yes, it does. Can I have you push your feet down like you're pushing the gas pedal and back towards you? Perfect. I'm going to try to separate your toes. I want you to try to clench them together. This side. Good job. Very good. Can you feel this? Yes. Yes. Any difference between this side and this side? No, I don't think so. I know you have socks on, but can you feel this? Yes, I can. Yep. 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 And here. Yes. Here. Yes. Any difference between this side and this side? No. Can you feel this? Yes. 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 And yes. Perfect, and now I am going to try to induce your Babinski reflex. So you're gonna feel a sharp swipe on the bottom of your foot, okay? All right. Very good. Very good, I'm sorry, I know that's it's okay. It's a little uncomfortable, but that was a normal response. All right, James, well, I will go ahead and come back around the bed. The good news is everything appears totally within normal limits. Okay. 
you passed all facets of the test. I wasn't seeing anything that I would say is an abnormal response. So I will let you sit up. Um, you can go ahead and get dressed. I will have those referrals at the receptionist office ready for you. Okay. Do you want to follow up with those? And if you have any questions, you are welcome to call me, okay? All right, perfect. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, if there's nothing else, I'd like to see you back within six months to a year, okay? Right, okay. Okay, have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye.